10% first. And I said, you are. So, um, so uh, I would like for you all, please, to give a well uh, warm welcome to Monique Adams from 757.
Um, in terms of the entrepreneurial community, we've had over 65 applications thus far. And they've really come from a diverse pool in terms of geography. So we're pulling from all the different regions from the peninsula. The majority of our applications have come from Virginia Beach, but several from Norfolk. Um, and it really aligns well with, or correlates well with populations in the area. So what are the benefits to entrepreneurs to apply to our uh, 757 Angels? Obviously, we're a capital source that pretty much goes without saying. Um, we provide efficiency. So again, if you all, you want to make one presentation to 60 people, this is the way to do it, rather than making 60 presentations um, to 60 people. There's exposure, and exposure really means awareness. So, you know, you're going to shine a light on your product or your service by coming through our group. Um, and I'll talk more when I look, we look at our deal funnel about how that exposure is working um, in 2015. Obviously, you get connections and expertise. You can leverage the process to get feedback from those connections. There's customers in the room. And so um, you can utilize the, uh, the 757 Angels process for that. And also receiving feedback. And we're really honing that process as to how you can receive uh, meaningful feedback and have that be more impactful for entrepreneurs. So what are we looking for? That's probably the most uh, common question that I get for it. Um, I kind of like this four M's because a lot of times what we're looking for from company to company or industry to industry, it's a little nebulous, right? I mean, it's different and it, it changes from industry to in industry. But these four terms kind of capture everything that we're generally looking for from a starting point. So management. Um, I have a lot of people that come to me with NDAs. Angel groups typically don't sign NDAs, and um, venture capital groups don't sign NDAs. We're not looking to um, copy your idea or recreate your idea. We don't build water faucets. Um, we're investors, OK? So we're just looking for management teams that can execute ideas. So we want to see the management team that you can build around your product so you can actually execute your idea and create the type of scale that we're looking for. Momentum. Momentum, again, one of these nebulous words. Uh, but momentum is really traction. And you probably have heard this several times from, from uh, different incubators and different mentors. But traction can mean a lot of different things. Traction can be shows. Traction can be users. Traction can be conversion rates. Traction can be sales. But traction really means that you're going to tell us a story and you have momentum. And things are changing and rolling and going in the direction that we want to go. Angel groups need momentum. Market size. Obviously, um, <coughs> we are looking for risk-adjusted returns. Um, and in terms of angel investing strategy, um, there is a lot of failure within angel portfolios. So um, we need companies that can scale really fast so they can provide us with the type of returns that we're looking for, and market size is key. And lastly, money. This is a catch-all for a lot of things. So when I talk about money, I'm just going to roll through it all. This means revenue uh, pricing models, revenue models, cash flow models, valuation, term sheet. I get a lot of people that get hung up on term sheets. We need to know what your term sheet is, what's your deal, what's your valuation, and what's your exit. So angel groups are typically not interested in lifestyle companies. So we're really happy for you if you all can make a lot of money year after year, but that's not what angel investors want to invest in. They're looking for an exit. Um, and <coughs> The typical horizon is anywhere from, it's a range, but anywhere from like three to 10 years. And typically it averages about five years. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the process? Um, we have a deal funnel process that begins with an application deadline. We have an online application portal. We utilize Gus. Um, there's pre-screening, so you would meet with uh, me during pre-screening and we review your application. I recommend that people make very heavy use of the GUST um, and upload every document that you possibly have. I read them all. 
um, and provide me with information, industry information, to keep me on track. I do a lot of Google research and I can go off for hours and hours in the absolute wrong direction. That doesn't help anybody. Um, after pre-screening, we meet as a board. But the board serves as an investment committee. And if you go to our website, 757angelsgroup.com, you can see who's on our board. It's composed of a lot of um, very intelligent business leaders. Um, and we meet, I recommend eight companies, approximately eight companies for their consideration. Um, and we select five that come back and pitch. Um, between pre-screening and screening, um, um, you be assigned, so if you are selected to be one of those five companies, you be assigned a vetting team. And these people do a deeper dive, so they pick up where I left off in our initial meeting. Um, and they are going to be doing some very preliminary due diligence. From that pitch meeting where the five companies come back and pitch, we select three companies to come back and pitch to our membership. Um, after the membership meeting, we solicit feedback from the memberships that's passed around during the meeting, and we learn who's interested um, in engaging with your group and learning more about your group. Um, we help in a post-presentation process. We stay very actively involved for two weeks, trying to help people herd the cats, but it's incumbent upon the entrepreneurs to raise the money. It's a very rigorous process, and we basically pass the baton to you then with me sort of behind the curtain as support. Just remember that there were two cameras. Uh, Sorry. So we should probably, if you have to make some closing comments, I'm sure people have okay. a lot of questions. Okay. Let's see. You can come back to any one of these for questions. Okay. Um, all right. So um, if you all, closing comments, is if you all know of anyone that's interested in being a member, please have them get in touch with me. I have cards. And if you're interested in applying, um, then I'll just get to that screen. This is the very long, but I'd be happy to email you the short URL. But you're going to apply. You can go to our website. You can go to Entrepreneurs, Apply Now, and you can get the link to get to the Gus website. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> we should practice this set of questions because I know a lot of some coffee shops have talked about this. <laughs> Let's go ahead, and you already answered this question, we always finish with one for you, so what, what can this community do for 758 and 70 to help you succeed? Yes, so thank you. Um, absolutely. If you know, again, of any investors that are interested in participating, please send them my way. And if you are an interested entrepreneur, please email me to meet with me. Um, and um, as we talked about earlier today, I'm happy to meet with anybody prior to them applying to see if this is a good fit for you, okay? You don't, the, I think there's a lot of value to the application process and you can really leverage the application process. Um, and I encourage most people to do that. But I am happy to meet with you so that you kind of know where you are. Um, and it just, it just helps you establish whether you are a good fit for entering the process at this point. So again, please get in touch if you're an interested entrepreneur. Um, and let me know if um, is there a deadline coming up? Is there yes, a thank schedule? you. Yes, um, it is likely that we're going to push our application deadline to mid-April, but March 30th. Um, and also, I, I want to let you know about um, something that's on the horizon. So, um, we are actively involved in a statewide initiative that will bring together the entire entrepreneurial community under one roof. It'll be a day-long event. It is actually going to be in the fall. Um, it was previously going to be planned in May. Um, it is very exciting for this community. We will be pooling from all the resources in the community, um, and it is supported by uh, Governor McAuliffe, Senators Warner and Kane, um, and it's going to be really exciting. It's going to have a pitch event associated with it. We're going to bring together public officials and private investors. Um, <coughs> And it is exactly what Hampton Roads needs to sort of ignite. You're here to be at the Capitol. Huh? It is. So we are going to be a stop on this tour. Okay. So it's a, it's a very exciting. I can't really say right now because they're they're branding it. Um, so I, I just want you to know that there's exciting things 
um, in the works for Hampton Roads, and we definitely want one of the cups to be a part of it. We want the entire entrepreneurial community to be a part of it. It's going to provide exceptional promotional and awareness opportunities for the entrepreneurial community. Okay. So that's in the fall, March 30th, with a deadline for 757 Angels. Thank yeah. you very much.